The Alpine Styles Bionic Neck Support is designed to work with your helmet to reduce the risk and severity of a catastrophic, career-ending neck injury, a paralyzing injury that may occur in the event of a big fall while riding. The Bionic Neck Support functions by providing an alternative load path for the energy that compresses the neck on impact during a big fall. If the helmet is in contact with the bionic neck support at the moment of impact, the overall load passing through the neck can be reduced, which may prevent a fracture from occurring. The bionic neck support also helps reduce the chance of muscular injuries associated with extremes of head movement. And while it is not possible to eliminate the risk of all forms of injury, the bionic neck support is designed to help prevent the most serious damage and minimize the risk of collateral injury as the impact load is channeled away from the neck. Now let's have a look at the Alpine Stars Bionic Neck Support in some more detail. It comes supplied in its own protective case. And firstly, looking at the frame itself, we have carbon composite mainframe structure that runs around the rider's neck and over the shoulders with a raised front chin bar to provide support for the front of the helmet in the event of an accident. Wide rear section also provides a good touch down point for the back of the helmet and in all the structure is both very rigid and very lightweight ensuring that we have the best possible alternative load path in the event of an accident the helmet should touch down on the top of the frame dissipating energy all over its surface and being lightweight it provides the most comfortable riding experience possible. On the sides we have location points for the Alpine Stars X strap system and looking underneath we have expanded foam pads to provide both good impact absorption and tough durable finish. Over the rider's shoulders we have the shoulder pads which are also removable to give some adjustability in the height that the bionic neck support sits below the rider's helmet Although we recommend that as far as possible, you should ride with the helmet as close to the support as you are comfortable with to ensure the most effective protection. Looking at the back, we have the magnesium key, which provides the locking point for the rear stabilizer. The rear stabilizer itself has been specifically engineered to systematically break in the event of a big impact or torsional load being imparted upon the bionic neck support. The aim is to protect the rider in the event of such an accident so that the rear stabilizer cannot do any damage to the spine. The tip of the expanded foam deflects to absorb energy. Special channels in the base of the PU section allow the structure to give. And the arms themselves are designed to break in the event of that heavy load being imparted upon it. In order to fit the stabilizer to the neck support for the first time, the easiest way is to flip the neck support itself on its back, open the front locking buckle, and then pull the arms fully apart so that the neck support is wide open. Then attach the rear stabilizer over the magnesium key and turn it clockwise until it locks solid and then the neck support is ready for use. Also in the Bionic Neck Support's protective bag you will find full instructions and safety guidance in the comprehensive leaflet that's provided. Fitting instructions should be particularly noted as ensuring that the Bionic Neck Support is correctly sized for you is critical to ensure that the system works and gives you the ultimate protection. Finally in the bag we have the two elasticated straps which form the X strap system that helps you secure the bionic X support if you so desire once you're out riding. In the second part of this film we will have a look at how to select the correct frame size and ensure a good fit with the bionic neck support. Fitting instructions for the Bionic Neck Support are fully explained in the information manual that comes within the package. 
where you will find guidance on frame selection shown in the table under the fitting procedure section. Ensure that the bionic neck support is fully assembled with the rear stabiliser in place and then the rider can try on the support. Once in place, it's most important to ensure that there's no rocking the neck support from side to side or indeed backwards and forwards. Looking at this, we would say this is a good fit for this particular rider. Looking at a smaller size neck support on the same rider, we can see it rocks from side to side. So clearly it's sitting too high up on the chest and on the back and not comfortably down on the shoulders. This larger size frame also doesn't sit comfortably and clearly rocking backwards and forwards is too large, therefore we would need to move down to a smaller size of frame. Having selected the correct size of bionic neck support, we then need to check that it works in conjunction with the helmet properly. Using the helmet that you would normally go riding with, do the helmet up properly so it's securely in place and we're looking to see how the relationship works between the top of the frame of the bionic neck support and the base of the helmet. And finally, we just want to ensure that the rider has full and free natural head movement. Paying particular attention to make sure that the helmet touches down on the chin support, but that the rider's chin is not actually in contact. The bionic neck support can be used standalone without any form of securing strap. The lightweight X strap system. This comes as standard within the package when you buy the new bionic neck support. The X strap fits over the rider's head and forms a cross over the chest. It's worn under the jersey so you put the support on, secure it at the front, connect the buckle and then pull the straps out from under the jersey and locate them on the hook points here on either side of the frame. At that point, it just helps secure the neck support down on the shoulders for a comfortable fit and stops any movement up and down. In conclusion, the bionic neck support should become an integral part of a rider's safety protection gear and should be properly fitted and maintained to ensure it continues to give performance and protection every time you go riding.